Very important for Dallas Keuchel and this is 12th start of the year looking for his fifth win. ERA of four and a half. He's got to keep it down tonight. He's got to throw ground balls. The wind is blowing very briskly out to left center field. There's the key matchups. Nomar Mazzara who's not in the lineup is not going to match up with him well from the bench. Miguel Cabrera has hit a home run against him. Jonathan Scope also has. It's Robbie Grossman, the switch hitting right fielder tonight. And this is right back to the mound. Dallas Keuchel does such a great job on the mound fielding his position. Robbie Grossman probably should try somebody else because Dallas has multiple gold gloves. Only three current pitchers have that. He is one of them. Two balls and two strikes on the Detroit third baseman. That's certainly strike three. And Candelario knew it, two down. He started walking seemingly as that ball hit the glove. Hits the glove on Yasmani, he frames it nicely, and then he walks on back. As here is Cabrera, the future Hall of Famer. Up the middle, but playable. Tim will get over the bag and leap across to end the inning. Madrigal to Anderson, running a two-man weave. No score after a half inning. And Spencer Turnbull toes the rubber for the ninth time this season uh, in his 46 innings of work. He's only allowed, dare I say it, one home run. Now, we talked about it last night, Chicago, a place where it warms up, ball starts flying. So this will be a challenge for him. He's looking to do something different to Chicago. Here's Adam Eaton batting second again for Chicago. Eaton strikes out, second out here in the first. It seems like whenever Spencer can get to this slider, he has a put-away pitch. Yeah. The depth of that breaking ball right there, that's unhittable, really, because it's down at the bottom of the zone, almost shoe top part of the zone. Two away for Yohan Mankata. Here's the 0-2 from Turnbull. On the ground, left side for Candelario. That is a 10-pitch first inning for Spencer Turnbull. Well, Grandall with two outs, hitting 137. He homered last night. Grandall tags this ball left field. He has done it again! Yes, goes yard, and it's 1-0 Sox. He is feeling better, huh? The legs are good, and if the legs are good, he'll hit home runs. And what he said was when the legs are good, he can hit the ball in the air. When he hits the ball in the air, he's strong enough to take it out. This was a great sign that he hit it to left field. So the Sox on top, 1-0. Ford home run replay. Only the second home run Turnbull has given up all year. Shows you how good that sinker has been. It also shows you how good Yasmani feels. Feels a lot better right now. Well, he's got a history of showing up and putting balls in seats, so it's not surprising. Derek Hill will bat. 1-0 to short. Tim for Nick. Nick for Jose. And he got him. What a great tag by Jose, because that was not a good throw by Nick. Looked like a tailor made two. I don't know if the ball slips out of Nick's hands, but they want to see if they can take a look at it again. Hill's got very good speed. That is a bad throw. Looked like he got him on the back. I would say yes, he did. That's one of those you hope the Tigers will use their challenge. Yeah, right between the five and four. It's four and a half. Even though it went six four. Six four three, and Jose with a nice tag. Jonathan Scope. Scope drills one to left field. That's going to get by Lamb all the way up to the wall. Grossman's going to hustle home. Jonathan Scope's got himself an RBI double, and the Tigers have evened it at one. Mr. Scope is remaining hot here. He gets a pitch that he's able to handle and drives it to the gap in left center field. It's a breaking ball, but it was a mistake pitch, and look at the timing of Scope here. Just barrels this ball. As soon as it's hit with two outs, Robbie's on the go, and he's motoring around second. No play for Mandergrove at the plate. There's a good example of Robbie putting his head down. He knows what he's supposed to do here. He's supposed to score from first on a double, and he does so easily. Nice answer for the Tigers. Turnbull had a talk with the trainer, and he's going to have to leave the ball game. The trainer was grabbing his elbow, so maybe that's what he was talking about. One down for T.A. All it takes is one hit to open the spigot. Hard hit, pass to dive of short. Tim's on his way to second. Two runs are home. It's three to one. Tim going right back up the middle. Drives home a pair. He's got 20 for the year. He's three for four with the bases loaded this year. He got his low fastball. Looking for more. Infield in for the Tigers. 3-1 Sox. On the ground to second base. Throw coming home. And it is late. And it gets away. Leori a mad dash to the plate. Two are in. Adam to second base. It's not exactly the running of the Bulls, but it's a bad day for Funkhauser. 
One and two to Abreu. Abreu to shortstop. This is short for Castro. And oh, that's a grenade that gets away. Eaton scores, and the Sox have run number six. Scope doesn't make the play, but it's a bad throw, and it's going to go E4. So this is interesting. They have E2, E3, E4, and it's a, not a good throw right no. there. It'll be Jonathan Scope, the one-two, hammered to left. That ball is out of here. A solo homer to lead off the sixth, and Jonathan Scope's big night continues. Well, there's one guy that seems to be absolutely dialed in. We saw it last year for quite some time. Jonathan Scope again sits on a pitch and doesn't miss it. Leori now one strike on him. To third, Candelario. Well, what a good play that was on a rocket. So Leary was baiting him, you know, thinking, well, yeah, look, no. I got a bad arm, so maybe he'll move off the line a little bit. The old bad arm liner. <laughs> that was that was a rocket. Nice play by Candelario. 102 off the bat, and it went exactly 102 feet. One down for Madrigal. Nick Madrigal gives it a ride, left center field. Long run for Hill at the track. It is out of here. How lively is the ballpark tonight? 402 feet off the bat of Nick Madrigal for his second home run. Long run for Hill, but the fence interrupted his pursuit. Big at bat here in the seventh. 0-2 to Grossman. Drives one to right field. Adam Eaton's got it. Zach Short tags. Grossman with a sacrifice fly to get the Tigers to within four. Jonathan Scope has had a great evening. The 1-2. Oh, drives yes. one to deep left field. That ball is gone! Another homer for Jonathan Scope. His massive night continues, and the Tigers have made it very uncomfortable for the White Sox here in the seventh. They're within one. There are costs at the plate. Now the 2-1. Drives Did one to it? deep left center field. That ball is gone! <laughs> the Tigers have stunned the White Sox with a massive inning here in the seventh. They've taken the lead. Unbelievable. He's got to find a bit of a happy medium to where he's not so defensive, just trying to bunt the ball with the swing, basically. Mercedes hits it high to center field. Pretty well hit. Hill is back, though, and he's there to make the catch. Abreu's going to tag. He's on his way to second base. The throw is in time. Abreu's out. Jose was trying for second base, and he's thrown out by Hill in center. Hill just looked at Goodrum as if to say, I don't know. I don't know why he tested me, but Abreu thought he might catch him napping and two down. So Grandal, one and one. He hits a ball high in the air, right center. New ball game, yes, again! His second of the night, third in two days. Told us the legs were feeling good. He told us that the home runs were coming. All he had to do was elevate. First multi-hit game since April 5th. He's been on base all four times. A couple of home runs. He's got nine for the year and suddenly 21 driven in. Here's a backdoor slider. It went out the front door. Illustrious career. Cabrera gives it a ride. Left center field. Billy is there! Now Badu chased back to first. Billy Hamilton just made an exceptional play in the alley in left center. And he deserves this crowd's love, which he is getting right now. See if 21,000 can activate the Urminator. A 1-0 to Mercedes. That is a game winner! He was 0 for his last 25, and nobody cares anymore! 9-8, your final!